Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, and I want to welcome you guys to the 30 day challenge update. This is the do better, be better challenge. Now, I'm doing this in collaboration with my friend Lori FM Lifestyle, and there is a playlist in the description. So go over and check that out. You can see all the videos. And if you are participating um, and you want to upload and you have uploaded or you want to upload a video uh, update, let us know so we can add you to the playlist. Most everyone is participating in the comments. You do not need a, cha a channel to do this. You can just comment. And I really want to encourage us all to uh, join in the conversations in the comments. Go over and just encourage each other. I, I read every comment. I always comment on, on every, I figure every, I reply to all my comments right now. Um, my channel is not that big, so I can do that. And I, I mean, I just really enjoy uh, the the interaction, you know, the conversation. That is my favorite part about being here on the platform. So um, so if, if you see someone who's participating in the comments, uh, give them some encouragement. Give them a, a like or a heart or a, a or comment and reply to them. I just think it's wonderful that we can cheer each other on. So um, you can go and watch our original videos that explain this uh, this challenge. And we're in the middle of October. This is a 30-day productivity challenge through the whole month of October. And but it's not too late for you to join. So if you haven't joined, jump in. There's no there's no expiration date on productivity. You can jump in any any time. So we are halfway through and everyone set a different um, kind of goal or a different focus, uh, something that we wanted to do better at in the month of October in order to be better. I picked one simple thing, just one simple thing, because I'm really working on trying to, to keep things simple in my life. I tend to, if there's too many parts and pieces right now, I just, I tend to just sort of lose track. So I am trying to keep things really, really simple. And I decided to, uh, that my goal this month would be to declutter for 15 minutes a day. And I decided that if I could do that at least three days a week, then I would be a success. And it would just be icing on the cake if I actually did it seven days a week. Um, Ross goes here on my lap and he wants down. So I'm going to put him down real quick. Yes. And then uh, I'll be back. Now, so many people commented and like, you know, some of you are decluttering. Lori is doing several things and hers is around uh, fit, like uh, self-care and weight loss. And so do go watch her video uh, when you're done watching mine and let's cheer her on. I can't wait to see how she did this week and I can't wait to hear how everyone else is doing. So again, comment and let us know. Give us an update. Some of you are decluttering. I'm sort of looking and I'm not I'm not going to call anyone out. Um, because I don't want any pressure at all. I don't want to put any pressure on you unless you want some accountability. Um, but if you comment, um, I will, you know, I will respond to you personally and go in again and, and let's root each other on. Let's cheer each other on. So uh, several of you are decluttering. Um, some of you are walking every day and there's several different things that people are doing. This can be any, you can pick any one thing. Uh, maybe you want to start journaling. You know, maybe there's something you've been wanting to do. Maybe you want to read more. Maybe you want to have more fun, watch more movies, read more books. It, it doesn't have to be something to get, you know, it doesn't have to be like a to do. Uh, it can be something fun. And I do think that spending time on the things you enjoy and the things that you love to do make you better. I really, really do. So you can, you know, you get to say what you want to do more of or do better in order to be better. Maybe you want to have more patience. <laughs> That's something I want to work on too. But getting back to my update, you know, thinking back over the last couple of weeks since we started the challenge, um, I've been focusing on decluttering. I decluttered four days this week. Yay. So I did more this week than I did last week. I only decluttered three days last week. I decluttered four days this week. Uh, this week. And um, I feel really good about that. I've gotten some things done. I did, I did a little bit of decluttering um, in our, la in our uh, pantry, our laundry room. I've been going through some of the old kitchenware and bowls and things. So I decluttered there. And then I've been decluttering in the office. And I, I did a major um, cleaning motivation video for the Monica closet. And in that video, you know, I got every, I mean, it was a disaster zone and I got that all cleaned out. And the way I've been maintaining that is I pretty much don't use that room. I, for about a day, I did go in there and I took my laptop and I sat at the desk and I started bringing stuff in there 
and I, I have a home office and I have that Monica closet that is basically another home office now. And I do most of my editing and most of my computer work right here at the kitchen table. This is my happy place. I can look outside. I can be here and kind of multitask when I'm uploading stuff. This is my, this is the heart of the house. The kitchen is the heart of the, the house. And I, this is where I like to be. And um, I don't, I don't like to be stuck in an office. That feels too much like work to me. I spent years working in my home office and I just start feeling closed in. So, so I haven't been using that room <laughs> and it feels really, really good. And I've been in my office that I, I just talked about uh, decluttering in that room. What I've noticed there is that I tend to, I haven't been using that as much either. I've been doing most of my editing on my laptop rather than my desktop. Um, my whole computer office and system, that's all um, kind of a carryover from, well, it's a carryover from when I work uh, and ran my business, but also, um, it, you know, it's like if we wanna play computer games or something like that, or I, I usually pay the bills there, I do the business of my life there. And everything else, I just, I try to stay out of that room. And, and um, so that, that's what's been really helping me. In the coming week, what I wanna think about is um, just finding, like just getting my office or maintaining my office so that it stays decluttered and just watching myself and how I know when I get busy, I start filling up a room. I'll start just, okay, I'll just throw this in that room and shut the door for now and I'll come back around later. And I, I, I add clutter. So I've been noticing that. And if I just shut that door or I just say, okay, that room is off limits. I mean, it's not that I can't go in there, but I just can't go in there and just dump stuff. So that has been helping me a lot. And I hope that and I'm gonna continue to be mindful of that in the coming week. Now, as I've been decluttering this week, like the first couple of weeks, I was getting rid of more things. Um, this, well, the first week I was, um, the, the, this past week, I haven't gotten rid of as many items. I've just been basically rearranging you know, things. Uh, I had a couple of things, but not like that first, not, lot, not like that first week. So I still have a lot I want to get rid of, but I just noticed I haven't been doing as much of that. I would like to, and I do have a big decluttering project I want to get to, and I'm really tempted to try to do it, but it's, it's in the attic and I'm going to have to climb up in the attic. And once I open up the attic, I know that I'm not going to just declutter for 15 minutes up there. I'm going to have to spend probably a couple hours maybe or so going through and uh, pulling all those boxes out. So I might hold that, that maybe put that on hold uh, for after this challenge is over. I'm not sure. Just maybe that final week, I'll feel like I got a lot accomplished and I can tackle the attic, but I know that that's not going to be a 15 minute decluttering project, but hey, I, I might do it. I could just, okay, I might pick a day and then just do that. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure that will be this week or even next week. The other thing that's been a bit of a challenge for me is, you know, I don't live in my home by myself. I share my home with my husband, John, and he holds on to a lot of stuff. And I, you know, I'm getting some of, some of my things decluttered, but then, you know, he's got his stuff. And like, I've been kind of like, okay, I'll go through and I'll get rid of some stuff, but some of it's his. And I just, it's, it's like, okay, I can't get rid of this, but I sort of feel like I have to kind of wait on him to kind of go through that stuff. So what I've been doing is just taking anything that is his and putting it in a box. And then I just take it down to his, his office. It's his man cave, his shack. It's it's a basement room, you know. He, he always teases me that in, no matter what house we've ever lived in, he always gets the basement room. But I've always given him a choice, and he likes that, so I'm fine with that. So he's like my troll in the basement, not really, not at all. But that just you know, for whatever reason, it's it's a Halloween season. It's October. I'm thinking trolls and witches and goblins. But seriously, so I've been just. Putting, filling up a box and I, I hand it to him. You decide what you want to do with this. And if you don't want to get rid of it, okay, it's, he can put it away in his, in his area. The other thing is we've noticed there are like what I call public spaces in our home where we both share the space or if we have company, um, they're in those, those spaces. And that's, you know, one of the areas I've been focusing on more most, and that's the easiest area for me to focus on are those public areas. I tend to put my personal spaces where only I see it, those get put last. And I'm trying to really get myself to 
focus on some of those kind of as self care and just as like valuing myself. I think that's a really good exercise to think about. So I've been starting to go into some of those personal spaces and I did do my nightstand. I shared that last week. That felt really good. And I did put a few night shirts in my drawer, but I still have one empty drawer in my night, my nightstand. There's some other areas in my bedroom. Like I have a drawer that I keep, um, you know, like wallets and things and important things. Um, I also have a jewelry box I need to declutter. But when I even think about those, I feel a bit overwhelmed. And I'm putting those, I'm tackling those last. There's a saying about if you have a frog to eat, you know, what do they say? Eat it one day at a time or one bite at a time. And if you have two frogs to eat, uh, and that's, that's I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself. So if you're going, what, you're eating a frog? It's just a simple quote. I can't remember who said it. If you guys remember, let me know in the comments. It's basically, you know, it, it's it's comparing our to do our projects with frogs so if you have a, a one project to do just do it one bit of, at a time that's why i'm doing 15 minutes of decluttering every day rather than saying i'm going to declutter in the month of october 15 minutes a day seems doable eating one bite of a frog a day is doable or one bite at a time and thinking of eating a whole frog just seems completely well gross so but then the other the other part to that is if you have to eat two frogs eat the biggest one first that makes sense to me like if I have to declutter my house declutter the room that's the messiest first well I did that that was my Monica closet and that feels really good but when it comes to things like you know decluttering my jewelry box or decluttering that little drawer in my dresser that I just don't feel like doing. It's like a wall there. I'm gonna give myself permission to just choose something else. As long as I'm doing some sort of decluttering, you know, at least three days a week for 15 minutes, I feel really good. I'm not gonna force myself to tackle things just because they might seem like the biggest frog, right? <laughs> so that's, I think that's really helping me too. I'm taking some of the pressure off and I wanna keep this fun for myself and doable. Um, I talked last week about designing a winnable game, which means just simply to, if you have a goal, make it winnable for you. Don't set your up, yourself up for failure um, and don't force yourself to, I mean, unless you have a real urgent need or an urgent reason. Like when I wanted to lose weight and I lost 30 pounds, it was for my health. Um, I had an urgent, there was an urgency around that. And so I really focused, but, and I accomplished a big goal. But if I don't have a real, like an urgent need or a sense of urgency, then I really have to think about why it is that I want to accomplish it. And I really just don't care to go into my jewelry box right now, probably because a lot of it belonged to my mother-in-law and a few pieces to my mom and just a lot of memories and I know it's time to let some of that go and that's probably why but I'm not ready and I'm just going to honor that so I think I'm going to give myself a bronze star now Nona Grace um, commented last week that she gave herself a bronze star and I love that I was saying well I wasn't going to give myself you know we never said we were going to rate ourselves on on that system anyway but I just sort of threw out spontaneously that I was going to rate myself a, give myself a gold star and then I said I never give myself a gold star because I don't I'm really hard on myself so I said well you know I I did okay and you know I'm happy and I would I would give myself a gold star but my gold star um, maybe it, I don't know may it wasn't I mean I, I did three days out of five last week. Well, I did four days out of five this week, and I still don't consider that a gold star. I'm going to give myself a bronze star. So that's just my, the way I'm rating myself. And you guys, you know, you can, you can really look at you, what you accomplished this week and be generous with yourself. And, and you know how you did. And let us know in the comments, if you are playing with us in this challenge, um, give us an update in the comments so we can come and cheer you on. You don't have to give yourself a star or you can, or in your own words, in whatever you want to share, uh, let us know how you did. And you don't have to go into detail. You can just say, well, I, ha I did join and I had a goal and I did really well at it. You can share, share as little or as much as you like. Um, we've, we've set this up to be a winnable game for all of us. So feel free to share what you're comfortable sharing. And if you want to do a video and you do have a channel, um, let us know so we can add you to the playlist. Now, I want to invite you to go over and watch Lori's video, and if you haven't already, 
and cheer her on. And thank you so much for being a part of this 30 day productivity challenge, the do better, be better challenge. This has been really helpful for me and I hope it's been really helpful for you too. I'll be back here next week with another update. Again, let us know in the comments. Let's cheer each other on. We've got this. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. I'll see you on the next one.